Hello, this is the Balkan Architect and this video will be part 2 of how to model a parametric table with chairs in Revit. So if you haven't seen part 1, you can find the link to that video in the description. There we do all the geometry for this table and this chair family over here and the goal is to create something like this which is a parametric table where you can change the size of the table and it will change the number of chairs. Okay, let's go to the table family where we last were. So I'm just going to tab and select everything and just add the material. I forgot to do that. I'm going to use Walnut. Go apply. Okay. Now we have the material and we're just going to save it to desktop. Let's call it parametric table. Okay, now we need to go to reference level, or yes, and we need to add some some more of these reference planes. I'm going to go create similar, and I'm just going to create one here, one here, and some vertical ones as well. Now I'm going to add some dim lines like so, one here, one here, and the same thing for this one over here. Now these will be the lines to which we attach our chairs horizontally, so this will be basically the chair offset from table or how far the chair sits away from the table, so I'm going to create a parameter for that you just select all of these so basically just control so you can add selection and I select all of these dim lines go parameter and I'm just going to call this chair offset okay and here I'm just going to type in let's go to 100 or maybe 150 Okay, once we've done that, let's just change this a bit for the table length. Let's go with 1600 millimeters. Okay, so it looks something like this. And now let's add in our chair family. So I'm just going to go here, chair family, load into project and close. And I'm just going to choose the parametric table, go OK and here we go. By clicking the space key you can actually rotate it and then we can place one over here, one over here. I'm just going to place it to the side a bit. One here and one over here. So now we want to lock in place these end ones or side chairs so I'm going to use the align tool just check this reference plane, the chair, lock it in place, same thing here, lock it in place, and do the same for this chair on the other side. Okay, once that's finished, we can just change this to hit the line, looks better. Now, these chairs, uh, they will be, they, you can't really put them in the center because you want to create an array, so when we basically change the length of the table, we want to add more chairs in the middle. So in order to do that, we need to add some more side, basically side reference planes to lock these chairs in position like something like this. So when we create an array, it will go from here to, to here. So if that doesn't sound, if that sounds complicated, trust me, it's easy. I'll show you. So we create another reference plane over here and one over here. And now we need some more parameters, so I'm just going to create a dim line over here, like so, and one over here. And we'll call this side offset. So parameter side offset. Hit OK. Now we have that, so now we can lock these chair end chairs in place. 
So I'm just going to select this one and go align, align it over here, lock it in place, align it here, lock it in place. Same thing for this one. Okay, you can see these chairs are kind of too much to the side, so we can just change this side offset. So just find it side offset and maybe put 300, go apply. Okay, yeah, that looks a bit better. Okay, now we need to create the array. So we're just going to select these two and go here to array or AR is the shortcut. You just type in here, let's do three. And here you need to check last. So basically we're determining this is the first part of the array, the first point, and we need to determine the end point and there will be the total of three. So if I select here and place it over here, you can see this is the first one, this is the end one and a total of three. So that's all we have. And now we just need to lock these in place. So go align, check this one, this, lock it in place the same thing for this and the same thing below okay once we've done that we have basically an array so now if I go to parameters if I change the table length to maybe I don't know 240 go apply uh, no this is chair offset sorry table length Let's just cancel out of that. Yeah, table length. So let's try 2400. Okay. And now if we select this array, you can see we can we can change this number over here maybe to four. And now we have four chairs. But if you want to turn this into a parameter, you just select it. You go here to label, add parameter, and then we name it number of chairs. go OK and now we need to create some formulas to control all of this so let's go into family types and here we have number of chairs but we want the number of chairs to be determined by the length of the table so if the table is short you will have less chairs and if the table is long you will have more chairs and the minimum amount of chairs we can have in an array is two so the the lowest basically table length we're going to use is 130 so if I have a 1300 millimeter table I will only have two chairs so you can see this is the minimum I don't want to go below something like this so we need to create a formula that does all this so I'm going to do that by using basically a simple formula which is here I'm going to use this table length control C and paste it here for the parameter and divide that by 65 65 centimeters is I just go apply okay just go back back yeah I should have done 65 650 yeah this is in millimeters so go table length ah okay we need to divide sign go apply okay and now we have this table but when we change the length to maybe two meters go apply now we can see we have three chairs if we go to 240 apply now we have four chairs so that's basically how it works but that doesn't help us if we try typing something less than 1300 let's say 1200 to go apply okay okay this kind of works as well but you can understand if we go less like 800 apply we're going to have problems so it can't divide that by 6050 and 
and this array cannot be 1. So how do we fix that? I'm just going to cancel out of this. So let's say the 1200 is the minimum table length. So here I'm just going to change this formula to include an if statement. So I'm just going to type if, open parentheses, so this table length, and I'm just going to place another this table length parameter. And if this table length parameter is more than 1200, then, so just comma, table length will be divided by this. But if it's less than this, so you just go comma, I'm just gonna type in two and close parentheses. So basically what this, this means is if table length is more than 1200 millimeters, table length will be divided by 650 and then we'll get the number for the number of chairs. But if it's less than this, it's just going to go with the default, which is two. So I'm just going to go apply and the formula works and that's great. So we pretty much have this array parameter finished. Now, another thing we need to do is if we just check this original family, you can see here we, we only have two chairs. And if I go to four, I only have four chairs. And our current table only has six chairs. We can't go lower than six. So if I go to floor plan, yeah, you can see we can't really go less than this. So what do we need to do? We need to first create a parameter that gets rid of this whole array and puts a chair in the middle. So how do we do that? We just select this chair, go create similar, and we place this chair in the middle. Same thing here, just twist it, place in the middle, and we need to lock this chair in place. So go align, lock it in place, same thing here, lock it in place, and do the same over here. So basically, at some point when this becomes maybe smaller than 1200 or smaller than, I don't know, 1000 millimeters, this array will disappear and you will be left with only these two chairs. But if it's bigger than 1200, let's say, then these two chairs will disappear and you will have this array. So how do we do that? We need to select these two chairs and here in the properties panel we have this graphics and we have this visible and you can see this is checked or unchecked. But if we go here we can create a parameter. So I'm just going to go here to new parameter and I'm going to call this center chairs. So this is basically the visibility parameter for these two center chairs. I'm going to do the same thing for this array. So I'm just going to tab, select one chair, or you can select it like this, go edit group, select, okay, select both of them, and then go visibility, add parameter, and let's name this array. Go okay, okay finish. So now we have the visibility parameter for this array. And then if the, if the table is less than, let's say, 900 millimeters, we want only these two chairs to appear and these to disappear as well, because they would be maybe too close together. So I'm just going to select these two as well, go to visibility, create new parameter, let's call these side chairs and go OK. So now that's finished. Go just OK. And now let's go to the family types. And here we have array, center chairs, side chairs. So now let's add some more formulas. So basically for these center chairs, we only want them to appear if the length of the table is less than, let's say, 1200 millimeters. So let's just go table length, control C for copy, control V for paste, and if it's smaller than 1200, 
we have these center chairs. If it's larger, they disappear. Now we go to the array and go table length, control V, paste it. And if it, this table length is smaller than, or I'm sorry, if it's bigger than 1200, it works. And this one is if it's smaller. Yeah. So if the table length is smaller than 1200, we'll only have center chairs. And if it's bigger than 1200, we'll have big chair. Uh, we'll have array. So let's just change this to something different. Go apply. So now you can see if it's 1300, the array is on and the center chairs are off. If it's 1100, go apply. Center chairs are on, the array is off. And for the side chairs, we're just going to use table length. And if it's larger than, let's say, 900, they appear. And if it's smaller than 900, they disappear. So if I go here, 800, apply. We only have center chairs, we don't have side chairs, and we don't have the array. So let's just go to 240, maybe, apply. OK. Now, this might be confusing that we have these two, even though when we go into when we go into family types, this is unchecked. That's OK. This won't appear when you load it in a project. So now let's for the final phase, we just need to add some types. So I'm just going to create a new type, call it maybe two chairs go OK and this will be an 800 millimeter long table so go apply so this is basically only center chairs go OK so we actually won't see this array and we won't see these side chairs now let's create a new one maybe four chairs OK and for table length let's go 1100 apply so we have side chairs we have center chairs but we don't have the array so that's okay now let's create a new one maybe six chairs go okay and let's change this to I don't know 1600 apply this is still two chairs okay so now we have basically six chairs we have the array and we have side chairs and the array is basically two on each side so that's six total and let's just create one for eight chairs you can do this indefinitely to I don't know a thousand chairs but let's say eight chairs is the maximum so go to 240 apply no this is actually ten chairs so maybe less two thousand apply Okay, so this is three on each side, that's okay, so go apply, okay, and we're finished. We're just going to save the model, and let's just use this project, let's delete this family, go back to our new parametric table, here it is, and let's load into a project and close. So I'm going to use this project, place it here. And when it's selected, we have our, this is the old family, this is the new one. So we have two chairs, we have four chairs, we have six chairs, and we have the eight chair table. So that's pretty much it, how you create your parametric table family. You can always select it, go into edit type, and then maybe change, I don't know, the table height to, let's say, 800 and the table height will change. So you can always add something more to this family through family types, but it works as basically as a family. So that's pretty much all for this video. This family will be available in the description so you can download it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any ideas for further tutorials, please leave a comment below. Have a nice day.